<coughs> well, if they did it on the Great British Bake Off, then I totally got this. Okay, apple cider, honey cake. Mmm, fall tastes. Mmm. Hey, hey, Alex, snap out of it. Focus. I am a honey cake ninja. One, two, three, sober. Okay, obviously, we need to start with apple cider. Drink that for a power up. Now, wait, we make apple cider butter. Got it, focused. We take two pounds, AKA five or six Granny Smith apples, peel, core, and cut into chunks. Don't die, okay? Ninjas don't die, I think. No, wait, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Grab a medium saucepan and put that on medium high heat. Medium, okay, high. Medium high, okay, got it, got it. Take three fourths a cup of light brown sugar, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, and combine that with your apples in the pan. Pan's right there, you just had it. Still there, okay, amazing. Once that comes to a simmer, lower the heat to low, lower to low, okay? Cook it just like that, stir it a little. That's what they're always doing on TV. Yeah, just like that, like a goddamn professional. Oh God, it's been 15 minutes already? Okay, okay, everything looks soft and golden. I'm gonna let this cool down, take a chill pill sauce, and I'm gonna put you in a large measuring cup. But you look lonely. Here, take my apple cider, enough to make three cups. Ha ha ha, that was a trap. Prepare to be pureed. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't get carried away. Round two, preparing the actual cake. Wait. <laughs> Well then what the F was all the work I just did? Ugh. Ugh. Taking a break. <coughs> now it's time to bake. Bake a cake, but not wrap. I'm too white for that. Heat the oven to 325. Heating. Get your bun pan and grease it. Now for the fun stuff that gets everywhere. Where the hell is my large bowl? Ha ha ha, found you. You put in your two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You put in your one teaspoon of salt. You put in your one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And what really is the difference anyways? Because I feel like it's probably just big baking sodas, insidious marketing campaigns. But anyway, I digress. Oh, and you put in your two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Poof. Now on to another bowl. I mean, I just handled one of these like a pro, so I can definitely do another. I'm supposed to whisk together three large eggs, three fourths a cup of honey, three fourths a cup of melted, unsalted butter, and ooh, the apple cider butter. Not gonna lie, forgot I even had that. Just realized this recipe calls for a fourth of a cup of whiskey. Yes, now I'm classy and tipsy. Whisk, 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 whisk. Batter, pan, make a baby in approximately 50 to 60 minutes. Hmm, now what to do with an entire rest of the bottle of whiskey? BRB. <laughs> And voila, a cake. Wait, wait, eye candy. Boom, powdered sugar sprinkling. Let's see that cross section. Ah, beautiful, come to mama. But does it pass the taste test? Yes, should you be sober for a real taste test? Yes, do you have to be? Like hell I do. Amazing. Ah, wait, God, I forgot I have to clean all this now. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share these videos, and of course, comment other food that you think you can cook when you're stoned. Or don't, we'll come up with something, probably. Oh, and support us on Patreon. We need the money for ingredients, food ingredients. Until next week, everyone, Bye bye